Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to put uh, the Georgian alphabet as an input method on your computer. Um, when you go to Georgia, you will have on the school computers and things, and people's personal computers obviously, the Georgian alphabet, but you will also have uh, generally the English alphabet and the Cyrillic alphabet for Russian. Um, so this is teaching you how to put it on there, what the uh, typing pattern is, all of that. Um, so, let's get to it. First you go to the control panel, okay, and then you go to change keyboards or other input methods. Change keyboards. Now you will see I have it already, Georgian, but it's under English. So let's go as if I was going to add it for the first time. You do not go all the way down to Georgian like you have to with some other languages like Japanese for example. You don't do that. Just go down to keyboard. Um, I doubt it'll be up here. <laughs> You'll have things like United States, Dvorak, uh, da -da -da, all this sort of stuff. Different ways of doing the keyboard in English. But if you click show more, then it goes to all these fun other languages. And you just click Georgian. There should be multiple ones. Do not click this or this because they are not the same layout for your hand and it makes no sense when you're using it. If you click this, then when you hit the letter A on your keyboard, it'll be ah. When you click B, it'll be B. Uh. You know, nice easy stuff like that. So click on this one here, Square T or whatever it is. Um, click OK. I'm clicking Cancel because I've already done it. And um, click out all this. You're going to hit OK and not click out of it if you're actually doing it for the first time. And then you will have down at the bottom. Um, if you had actually put another language, you would have it changed, like I have Japanese. But for yours, you're going to look there, you're going to say, hey, where's Georgian? Well, it's not there because it's under an English um, thing. You have to go down here, click Georgian. Okay? I'm going to show you how it works by going over to Word theoretically and show you. Okay, so now I'm in Japanese, I need to get to English. Okay, Jordan. So here's the alphabet. A, B, G, D, E, V, Z. Um, this one is different. So far it's all been the same. Use the, well, I'll type it out in a minute and you'll see how it's the same. But it's the A, B, G, D, E, V, Z. So far all the same. This one is different. You have to do a capital T because they have two different T sounds. E, um, je, let's see, I believe that's capital J. Yes, it is. Um, let's see, after that we have uh, s, t, uh, there's lowercase t. Ooh, this, the sound is p, but you type the f key because you already used the uh for p. So, h. Use the Q key for a normal K as opposed to K with the hard K, which is the K button. Um, use capital R for R. Use uh, Y for K for no reason other than they look alike, I'm sure. Capital S for SH. C for, oops, capital C for CH. Lowercase C for TS. Capital Z for Z. Uh, w for t uh, capital W for ch, uh, which by the way, if you look there, looks really different compared to how you actually handwrite it. Um, H is X, J is J, and H is the normal one. So I'm now going to write it in English just so that you know how it matches up. So A, B, G, D, E, V, Z, capital T. Um, I K L M N O P capital J R S lowercase T U uh, F Q capital R Y capital S C capital C capital Z W capital W X J. 
That's how it maxes up. So most of them make sense, okay? There are a couple that you gotta know something like both of the T ones make sense, okay? You just have to know which is which. Some of them don't make as much sense, but it's just how it is. Because they have letters that we don't, and vice versa. So there you go. That's how you get it on, that's how you use it, and I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for watching.